Hey, hey peeps. So this is month 13 of my uh, ownership of this Pilea peperomioides. And as you can tell from my last update, there's only one as opposed to three standing here. And that's because, well, one space, um, so I decided to get rid of the other two. But that was because, you can see on here, this one is going absolutely pup crazy. Now there's at least, um, well there's those two big ones there. There's that one little one there by that big one. And then there's two pups over here. Plus multiple that I can't really count exactly how many coming up along, oh, leaves in the way, along the, um, the stem there. You can see all those little green dots there. So, uh, it's a better view from this side. The, uh, pups. But yeah, you can see all those dots there. Those are all pups. Or well, the beginnings of them, at the very least. So, I figured, well, I'm going to have more than enough pileas uh, from one plant alone. So, for the sake of space, um, I've just got this one now and uh, all the pups that come on it, which is like over 10, well over 10. But, uh, not only is this an update, but um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but there's some roots starting to poke through the bottom. And... I got a very nice, beautiful terracotta pot slash bowl, Ooh. and that's why you need to use gauze, but I don't have any, so hang on a sec. Little uh, cautionary tale there. I mean, I could use coffee filters, but honestly, guys, uh, I'm being lazy, so I'll work. It'll, it'll work. It'll work. It's fine. I'll pick that up later. But yeah. So I've got a nice little terracotta bowl, which is the same style as the one I put my um, golem jade in. And I think it would actually look lovely in there, because I'm going to actually leave the pups on this guy. Maybe I might remove a couple in the future, but for now I want to leave all the pups attached, just to see where this goes on this plant, because, yeah, it's, it's starting to get quite tall and bushy. And I figured, well, a wider pot will give the pups more space to grow and it will look a hell of a lot more fuller. So, um, got a knife, so I'm going to try and ease it out of this pot here as gently as possible and hopefully not break any babies off. And um, I'll let you see what he looks like once he's out. Just to give you a, an idea of what I'm doing is I'm just going around the very edge of the pot where the soil meets the pot with this knife to try and ease it out so hopefully it comes out in um, one big piece and hopefully I don't disturb the babies too much. Yay! I managed to get it out in practically one piece. So, here we go. It's, uh, and be very careful and show you the roots so they look very healthy. I think I'm going to keep the soil as there's no pests, there's essentially nothing wrong with it, it's just um, a matter of it outgrowing its pot. So what I've got is uh, my standard soil mix here which is some clay balls, pebbles, lecker beads, whatever you want to call them, some sand, and some cactus and succulent soil which is already pretty fast draining on its own but this will all enhance it um, you can also add your pumice or your perlite or ceramics horticultural clay pellets whatever you like but this is what i'm using at the moment um, which i think will be sufficient enough because i don't want it too well draining but um, still pretty well draining because it's going into a breathable terracotta pot. Because one thing I noticed with this guy here, in this pot here, was um, I was watering weekly, which is about average for this plant. Um, 
But because he was becoming pot bound, he was drying out extremely fast, which is one of the signs that you do need to repot. Not only that it's poking out the bottom, but yeah, the soil wasn't even staying dry for um, half a week. So I was end ending up giving it a top up midweek. So <clears throat> because this plant doesn't like to sit too dry for too long, it, it does enjoy to be moist, but not soaking wet. And um, yeah, bright and direct light, seeing as we're on care instructions. Uh, care instructions. So yeah, bright and direct light uh, or filtered light, and it likes to be kept um, moist but not soaking. So, and the soil it helps if it's well draining, so there's no risk of root rot. That that's always a given. So, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, a little a pot here. Get my new soil mix and mix it in there and then we can get this guy into his new home and him looking fab okay so it's in there all nice mixed together i'm just going to make a little well in the middle here so um i can just sit in there and start adjusting okay so so far so good just got him sat there in the middle so i've got some extra soil and i'm just going to go ahead and fill it in I haven't put any lecker clay balls into the soil that I've put on top. I've just mixed some sand in that because uh, it's got all the drainage where it needs to be. So this will hold some extra moisture on the top, but not for too long. Yeah, this is looking really good. I must admit, I like the style of these uh, bowl pots. They're very pretty. I'm just going to finish up because uh, you can't really see what I'm doing all too well thanks to these leaves. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish um, setting them in and then uh, I will give you the grand tour. And he's looking pretty snazzy, if I uh, do say so myself. So, I managed to successfully get from one pot to the other without breaking anything, which I'm really happy about. He looks amazing in this new bowl. It, it just seems perfect for the um, width of the pot. So what we're gonna do now, as soon as he's sat there all dry, is we're just gonna water him in. Another quick look round. Okay, so there you have it, the 13 months update on my Pilea peperomioides. A little bit of how I um, took care of it and got them to this size. And um, yeah, the pups. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so as always, thanks for watching. It's much appreciated, much love, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.
Thank <laughs> you.